Wait, are those instruments in the form of cars? <laughs> this is an automatic Soul Glad dispenser machine, common in Pentaconi. As you approach the dispenser on the machine, suddenly falls, spraying Soul Glad all over you. What? No! An infuriating prank, or it could simply be an accident. Who knows? You look around, but you can't find anyone to vent to. Dang. Try blocking the traffic? What if I just... Damn! It just straight up hit me! My fault. A little arctic bear cub watches you with its head tilted, flapping its semi-circular ears. You're certain no one could ever resist a cute fluffy critter. Not to mention that it's waving a, its cute little stumpy arms at you as if it to ask for a little bear hug. How could you say no? You walk forward quietly. Good. It hasn't run off, but it is still watching with those innocent eyes. You begin to imagine the soft touch of that fur in the palm of your hand and wonder, is this the happiness that you've been pursuing all along? Just then, you seem to catch a glimpse of something out of the corner of your eye. Uh-oh. Something that has no business being here. Its presence is so offensive, like marbles in a soda bottle or lipstick in a shirt collar. That is impossible to ignore. Your movements stop. What, what am I seeing? <laughs> Nothing is more important than happiness right here, right now. Even the dregs of propagation are about to lead a withering assault against Pentacone. You decide you want to grab onto that soft fluff first. You're sure that this is the great justice behind why you do all you do. Your hand spreads wide, fingers quivering slightly. Good. You're about to pet it. Are you sure you don't want to think about it some more? So cute. No, I want to hug it. You win. You are bold and no one and none can resist you. Go ahead and do whatever you want. It grunts happily and doesn't seem to be offended by your rude behavior. <laughs> you sigh with relief. The risk paid off and you got what you wanted. But at what cost? You only just realized something isn't right. Have you recovered from the rashes of your blind impulse? Didn't you notice that this whole time the sign above the creature says or doesn't say Arctic Bear Cub at all? Or what? Take a deep breath and don't get excited. At least they aren't angry right now. And you still have plenty of time to think about the mitigation strategies. What? Seeing as they have chosen to display themselves as an arctic bear cub, it's not technically wrong to use a corresponding method of petting. Therefore, you decide to... Maybe we should just scuttle. This, er, uh, the animal enthusiast doesn't mind being treated like an animal. It's an animal enthu- Oh, it's a person! That's a- it's just a dude cosplaying the bear. It's a big furry. Wait, did that billboard just move? Oh God. I can hit the advertisement? Wait, what does that do though? Right. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's so me. Trailblazers from the Astral Experience. Welcome to Dreamscape Sam. Wow. It's me, the Dreamscape Sage Story. I also go by the name of Dr. Edward. <laughs> and I'm happy to be at your service. All right. I'm not mistaken. This is your first visit to Pentacle, isn't it? Yeah. Please be rest assured that Dr. Edward will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first Dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. And that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this dreamer. Why do I feel like he sounds like Germa? Trying to do a voice impression. It is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Akifili. I can assure you that this dream bubble is perfect for you. How do you know what I want? It's the magic of psychoanalysis. <coughs> <laughs> Let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Okay. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? To what? How come Pom Pom's here? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! 
<laughs> Wait, why is there any sound now? Do I have to do the voiceover for Akibili myself? My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akibili. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. But meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akibili. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with. I will be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Anyone, you say? Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. March Donhong Pom Pom. Himiko Welt Myself. Myself in a different gender. Hmm. Don Hong's voice actor was, was so goofy in this part. Okay, how about we try Don Hong then? The replication is complete. Now can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. You rode snowmobiles into the Tykian Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. <laughs> because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Oops. Uh, you plead guilty to this charge? <laughs> Pom Pom is angry. Uh, yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> you sneaked into the high -E zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. What? You kept them in the restroom where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably. What? Causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. What? You plead guilty to this charge? Uh, yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> you barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pom pom pies. Bruh. Because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving. <laughs> Do you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. <laughs> Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. Dang, how much did I do? How much did I do? Of entire entries disappearing from the express databank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise and a break in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. Uh. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? 46? I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. <laughs> no, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. <laughs> what? How was your experience? <laughs> Definitely would have never heard Don Hung ever say that in his life, but that was cool. <laughs> what do all these have to do with Ak Akiavili? <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. I'm itchy, sorry. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. How much does it cost, though? 100k? You're kidding, right? I'm sorry. I truly am the worst nameless in the world. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Who this? I, uh, what? S sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Uh, what? Uh, what, what happened? Who are you? I, I'll do my best to protect a young lady. He said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hey, at your service. She has an accomplice. Good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. Uh oh. Oh wait, the music though. Hold on. That's enough, boys. Who this? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Scruff. Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, he's the officer. 
sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. He does kind of look like an officer. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. <laughs> I'm sure she's the one. Bruh, you just profiled her? Nah. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Well, she actually, they actually just profiled her. Wow. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. You know what? Also, he kind of looks like Walt if he was older and had red eyes. I mean, well, Walt is pretty old, but like, you know what I mean? Bloodhound family are guards of the dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Mm. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Huh? Mm. Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? Bruh. Why <gasps> put it like Thanks. that? <laughs> Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. All right, Gallagher. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. No problem. Galactic baseballer at your service. The trailblazer, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Yep. Is this your first time here on Penacone? Mm hmm Are they really that famous? <laughs> The Interastral Peace Broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. Really? I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. Mm. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. Oh boy, we, we have another guide. Here we go again. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Alfalfa coins? Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. <laughs> You can come back for them next time. Dang. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, in a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. True. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, mm. oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. Hmm. What do I want? I should warn you, I do have very expensive taste. Nah, I just want pizza. Firefly's budget, 20000 Don't make her broke. Buy everything. I mean, I could just pay her back, right? Oh, the pizza. The burgers and fries are just expensive. Because why is a whole pizza as expensive as potato fries and a burger? And the ice cream being more expensive than all of them? What if I spend it all, though? I'm greedy. It's a dream anyways. Um, this is... <laughs> Are you done ordering? You... You have great taste. <laughs> I... I'll get the bill. <laughs> mm. uh. Now, let's go this way. Yeah, she definitely hates me for that. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. I missed! Bro, that thing just... 
Did you see that? I think just swerved me. Yo. Oh my god. Holy trailblazer, you suck. Oh. Okay, nah, never mind. This thing is too good. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Look, that's the statue of Clocky. Penicone's famous cartoon character. I think there's a bird inside of it. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. 10,000 is crazy. One Piece could never. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? I don't know. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penicone. The founder of the dreamscape. The man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claimed that he was exiled to Penicone as a prisoner. And some speculate mm. that he wasn't even a real person. Just a symbol. Yeah. The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. Hmm. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penicone in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penicone knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. A nameless, you say? Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? True. I know how this goes. You're going to charge me a lot for just taking the pic, aren't you? Classic. Of course not. What were you thinking? That's an actual scam in Vegas, by the way. like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! Yank. <gasps> it's the bird. Hey, hey, hey! Thank you, beautiful person. Thank you. I'll repay your kindness. Go to the tree. Please go there, there. I'll show you something nice. Aww. Bye bye. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? Wait, she can't see it? I can actually jump in this world. Color me surprised. Really? You jumped just now. It was really sudden, too. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. What was this? Oh, it's a, it's a Robin photo card. Sick. I actually got a photo card of her. See, now I could use that against March. She doesn't have a photo card. Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater. Another great landmark of Penicone. That's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penicone Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penicone with everlasting peace. And here we are, the best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. Oh. When the Charmony Festival arrives, Remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacone. Wow. A gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Susa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, mm. in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. I see. Did you know? 
One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as dream leaf, has gone extinct. What? That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penicone's Dreamscape. Oh, I see. Now, this is also the only place where one can hmm. fully experience the core values of syrupism. She abruptly freezes. In that fleeting moment, you notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brows, or perhaps somewhere behind you. What are you looking at? Firefly returns to her warm and gentle disposition. What the hell? <laughs> what just happened? Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Oh my god, the guy is puking. I was actually puking. Ew, he's puking rainbows. Why are they taking a picture of it? Oh my god. Oh boy. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacony. May I get some ID tokens for him? Oh, here we go. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. Oh boy. And how many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Pinnacony to the fullest. Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Okay. All right. So there's prize, a regular prize, a big prize, and a super big prize. I also find it very funny how you could literally just like synthesize these. Damn, we, we ain't got shit. Wow, you won something on your first attempt. Impressive. Nice. I got a big prize. Nice. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Well, you can get a light cone from this. It requires two. Keep playing. I'm expensive. I'll go and get some drinks. Okay. Whoa! Wait, that looks so cool. Oh, I got a super big prize. Yo! Oh, I just got. Okay, even if you get a super big prize, you still have to get the gotcha. What's taking Firefly so long? Huh? She's heading towards the bar? What? You can buy more gamma tokens from the vomiting guy? Would have thought downing 40 bottles of Soul Glad back to back would feel like this. It feels absolutely amazing, he says, as he literally pukes rainbows. 10 ID tokens for 5,000. Good thing I'm rich. All right. I've used up all Come the on. tokens. Time to meet Firefly. No, nah, not yet. Not yet, buddy. We still got a couple more. Still got a couple more in me. Ah. Give me something good. Give me something good. Okay, we got the super big prize. All right. Am I going to get the uh, purple this time? Ah. Regular prize. All right. That's cool. That's cool. But I need some. I need something big. I need something big from y'all. You're just not going to take like 20 coins from me and give me nothing, right? Give me something big. Something big. That's... That's not... That's not... Uh... That's not something big. I got three more. I can only do this one more time. Show me the money. Show me the money. I mean, I haven't got it yet. I got a big prize here. What's that going to do for me, huh? What's that going to do for me? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Did you have fun? No. Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? No. Sound a bit sad, though. I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. Mm. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. Oh. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. Wait, what do you mean by that? Wait, are you actually a stowaway? I... I'm a lawful resident. 
At least now I am. Oh. Hey, can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Okay. Did you travel here alone? That is a very suspicious question. It depends on what you want to do. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Because what? Well, someone's been following you. Really? Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Mm. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light Way. and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. Is that how I think it is? He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. Oh, I recognize those. <laughs> yet his fingers are slender and nimble. No way. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. <laughs> I recognize this man. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Of course, I recognize him. <laughs> He's coming our way. <laughs> hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer. The trailblazer guy. <laughs> Hi, Sampo. It's been such a long time, old friend. Oh my god. What are you doing here? What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my. I'm in luck today. What is he doing here? Yes. It's none other than your old friend, Sampo. Sampo Koski. <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your L06 open up to the outside. True. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? March? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Uh, you might have the wrong girl. <laughs> My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. <laughs> yeah. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sampo, and I'm an old pal of his. Uh-huh. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can <laughs> I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream. And do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Hmm. I don't know if that would if that's something that Sample would do. Also, have you guys noticed that his voice sounds a little off? Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penicone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups. I think I could do much better. Doesn't Sample also tell his full name? You're right. <laughs> Entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Nah, I think I'm good. I'm a little suspicious. Why did that person just face through that? <laughs> oh, <it's>... oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? He is not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Mm, something's not right. Commercial district? Bingo! Our destination is right there. Peppy Papeshi Salon. Peppy Papeshi's. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. Oh. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. Huh? Oh, it's you. You here to relax? Right. I have two friends here who want to come with me. 
any seats left inside? Dude, the echo on this is crazy. Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Ah. Uh, um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. <laughs> well, seems like we can't go in. Yep. We should just forget it, just right? stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Uh-oh. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? Oh, no. The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. What are you talking about? Just a few intense emotions. As far as how we'll use them, you just wait and see. What is he talking about? Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. Did he just <clears throat> threaten them? Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said, do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Oh. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Emotion prototypes. Is that a TV? A television. Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. This vibe machine has a sense of a stance worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? Uh, I mean, uh, why don't you try it yourself first? I want to let you enjoy this first-hand experience. <laughs> it's just a suggestion. If you aren't up for it, uh, I'll do it myself. The two almost synchronously turn their gaze towards you. Or perhaps more precisely, it was three of them, including the guy with the trembling, oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen. You know, it's time to make a choice. So, do you want to take a chance and touch this television to see what intriguing events might unfold? Touch it, touch it, touch it. Seems like I'm left with no other options. The illusion of choice, everyone. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and muster great courage, and with a resolve as weighty as three exclamation marks, you reach out to the suspicious screen before you. I guess I'm gonna die. Woo! What? Oh my. Oh no. What have we done? Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? Goodness me, you guys are so tall. You desperately want to say this, but somehow you've transformed into a certain cartoon character. Your name is Hanu, a candid, a candid and tacturn figure, a lover of your hat and leader of the werewolves from Penacone's famous long for cartoon, Clocky. You're also the mascot of the Bloodhound family. You silently protect the peace of Dreamville. According to your character traits, you can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. Let out grunt, that sounds cool. You made an extremely cool grunt. Man, really, it was so cool. You look so cool. <laughs> so, how did he turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. No, oh, brother. Now. If you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. How do you know that? You really want to ask your old friend how they're so confident, but your character design doesn't permit you to do such a thing. God damn it. You let out a cool grunt. A grunt that sounds cool. <laughs> Ooh, here it says 
Enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. Nah. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. Oh, look how small you've become. You won't be able to escape this time. Nah. What is going on? Guys, trust me. I'm taller than this in real life. <laughs> Your way is blocked. How pitiful. There's a huge secret that I would never tell you. If you swap bodies again through the TV, you'll be able to destroy the obstacle and break through. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you just told me, man. Yo, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a big chest up here. Yo, rat! You foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. L. Fine. I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back. Yay, we did it. You're back. <sighs> Are you alright? Do you have anything to say, Sample? Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. I, I guess. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. I said the proverbial verb of freedom while it's like handcuffs and donuts. What are you trying to say, huh, Horvus? Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. Be my guest. Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it! The one from last night would be perfect! Um, what's going on? Well, this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With relevant emotion prototypes. I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Oh, is that what we were collecting all those for? Any dreams you want, though, right? Exactly! Looks like you've got the picture. You've probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? Yeah. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness. But please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over. It's ready. Please, close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Something bad's about to happen, isn't it? Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? Where is everyone? This is the surprise that will be revealed later. You have to remember, in a dream, anything is possible, possible. <laughs> okay, Sampa. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. Okay, y'all heard that, right? For headphone users, y'all heard the... His voice going back and forth, right? Between each ear. That was weird. Is this... Another note? Become the Garbage King, though the trash bags have been long broken. <laughs> what did he mean by this? Well, I have no idea. I didn't come here when I had this dream. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but... Don't get frightened by what you say. Huh? What? What? <laughs> oh no. What's happening? Oh no. Oh god. Why are there trash cans? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Everyone is a trash can. Is a 
That sounds eerily familiar. Let's get back to the question. Have you heard of Tatalov, the Garbage King? They're speaking Simlish? He's our king, as well as the manager of all the waste in this world. Perched on his throne, he uplifts trash cans that are humble and suppresses those that are violent. However, since this thing, since the thing from the beyond the sky arrived here along with the eternal freeze, Tatalov's eyes have been blinded. He stopped listening to our calls, leaving the impoverished to be bullied and his loyal servants to be degraded. <laughs> The humiliation was too much for us. We intended to help Garbage King mend his ways under the banner of the Skyfire, but we were no match for his the sinister king who spread vicious rumors among the trash cans to divide us against each other. As a result, we could no longer communicate with one another to using trash bags. <laughs> I implore your help to restore peace to the trash bag so that the trash cans here may be united once more. Then we'll be able to launch a counterattack against the undeserving king. You're speaking in riddles. I think she's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these, um, trash cans and lead their battle against the evil king. Or something like that. Dude, the, the going back and forth with the ears is so trippy. Help the trash cans with their troubles and collect three proofs of trust. Once you've accomplished that, you'll become our new king and, our, and lead our fight against the evil king. Off you go, Dream Diver. Your mission is calling for you. I'm confused. <laughs> We've had enough to tattle off his oppression. To retrieve our belongings from his treasure trove, the resources vital to our livelihood seized by the tattle off's greed and tyranny, we must open this door. Open sesame. Strange. You haven't done anything, but the door opens slowly. It turns out that this is an automatic sensor door. It just can't sense trash cans. God damn it. Bruh, <laughs> the door is open. The legends are true. You are the savior destined to defeat Tatalov. The god of trash sent you to return the tyrant's treasures to us. Did they just tell him to actually speak gibberish? I've never felt so exhilarated before. When you raise the banner of rebellion against Tatalov, I and the other oppressed cans shall stand by your side. You watch the trash cans excitedly crowd into the treasure trove, tearing open bag after bag of garbage and pouring the contents into their torso. What? Normal looking trash can, all magical. A kingdom of trash cans actually has an ordinary trash can. This is a rare opportunity. Do you wish to do something to it? Insert trash. You chuck whatever random things you have on hand into its pitch black bottomless void. A series of loud sounds thundered back. What the? When you open your eyes again, the trash can is no longer just a trash can. Now it's a trash can with arms and legs. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful stranger. I am the trash can prince, and my father was assassinated by Tatalov. I was cursed into becoming a trash can. You saved me from internment. I shall offer everything I have, my body, my soul, my life, even my trash bags, just to repay your kindness. Stand with me against Tatalov.
I will stand with you and ignite the rising smoke of rebellion until the kingdom is saved from absolute peril. Alright, cool. A dispute, oh. A dispute awaits your fair judgment. This is a legendary golden trash, a symbol of power and status. Only the most qualified trash can may lay claim to it. All of us feel that we are that we are that trash can. So and so we keep fighting for it. Uh, so we have decided that an observer possessing unique and just in and just insight should be the judge for this matter and decide to whom the reward will belong and bring a conclusive end to this long dispute. If you give the golden trash to me, I will pledge you endless wealth, more than enough to fill the biggest trash can there is. If you give the golden the golden trash to me, the wise can, I will grant you endless knowledge more than any full bag of trash can uh full bag of trash can provide. If you bestow upon me this golden trash, the beautiful can, I shall promise you the most beautiful trash can in the world. Myself, I will stand beside you as a partner beyond peer and face all your trials and triumphs by your side. What is your choice? What do I want it? I'ma keep it. Under the watchful eyes of the three, you claim the golden trash as your own in as your own. Indeed, among these small trash cans, is there anyone who stands as tall and as upright as you do? The conundrum that is that has stimmed us for so long. Bix, just like that? Then who is the most qualified can? No. That no longer mattered. The outliner must be trying to help us understand how foolish this dispute of ours was. You have proven yourself with your actions. This signifies our loyalty and longing. We wish for you to have it. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them? <laughs> He's so confused. I believe you collected all the proof of trust. Your determination is truly admirable. I'll escort you to your throne, the pillars of creation, where you'll witness the future of my people. Damn. What happened here? Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. This is a little, uh... Such a tragic scene. <laughs> oh no, the trash cans. No. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Didn't they say the garbage king would wait for me here? Have I been set up? Uh oh. What the? Sampo! <laughs> What? What the? <laughs> what the f is going on? What is going on? What a bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. Nah, I'd easily finish him off with one punch. Call me Saitama. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. Oh, turn the volume. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Is this weird dream trying to hide a hint at some hidden meaning? Hint at? No, more like reveal. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. 
As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you what? think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Pemiconi? Maybe? I don't know. I, I only just got here, so I don't know. I don't know about all that. I'm not gonna cap. A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm gonna be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Okay, so now it sounds now you're sounding more like the regular Sampo. What are you up to exactly, Sampo? Same as always, pal. If you still don't get it, just turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? She claims what? to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit. Suspicious? You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot free. <laughs> mm. See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? Why did <laughs> Firefly? What's going on? The girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I don't find you suspicious. Do I? I mean, I kind of didn't really question her before then. I mean... <laughs> Thank you. There are things... I'm hiding from you. I'm not a local. I mean... And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. I mean, I already kind of knew you weren't a local, but... <laughs> But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. Oh, wait, we can ask you to come aboard. <sighs> can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Wait, can we actually get a new member? Sure, I believe you. Thanks. Go ahead. Huh? God, I can't Is wait for that day. something crying for help over there? Hey, talk! Help! Help me! Oh my god, is that Clocky? Someone's dying! Please, come here! Uh, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Can you see me? Uh, is there a problem? You sound like Mickey Mouse. Can see a clock with limbs. Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! Misha? Oops! I, I haven't introduced myself. Wait, Misha's dying? My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Panacone. My friends and I keep. Alright, come on, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Come on, we need to get to Misha if he's dying. Oh my god. Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Can I help? How can I help? Clocky? Do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? Yes, that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm not hallucinating, right? Tick tock! I'm really here! As the humble face of Penacomi, I never, ever brag. Um. Where is he? I, I can't see him. God damn it. I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. What? Like this kid here clad in gray. What? You said you weren't innocent, kind, or honest. Just how so? Tick tock, tick tock. My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Misha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. He says someone's life is in danger. Uh, is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this, um, clocky that only you can see? Yes, can we wrap it up so we can make sure Misha doesn't die? As anything can happen in a dream. We can just 
head to the place I mentioned later. Tick-tock! Tick-tock! Hurry up and follow me, great friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Anyway, better check out what's going on. I swear I'm tripping out. Uh, everyone, please stay calm! You broke the rules, and now... You're gonna have to pay the price. Punish yes. Punish what is going on? <sighs> how did it come to this? <laughs> how do you get cornered by this? How come they're all people I know? What do you mean by all? See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! TikTok! I'm begging you, my gray friend! Begging you! Please help Misha! Just fill me in what's going on. Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Huh. I'm really curious too. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. All the lowlifes in Dreamville. Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, hmm. taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, clockwork. I can the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. Here, I'll show you. First, close your eyes. Okay. Tick -tock. Now, our what? minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy surging through your body? I don't know what just happened. All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. Please bear in mind that you Wait. should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all. Tick tock. So we're killing him with kindness? A hey, gangster boss. How about you pick up I on somebody your own size? Lad. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. How about you pick on someone your own size, buddy? Even though she's like actually probably almost as tall as you, but still calm, sad, happy. What about happy? <laughs> you did it! But how did he end up like this? Uh I I I might have I might have overtuned it. Just that, seeing that gleeful smile on his face, oh, he's just as scary as he was before. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Please allow me to welcome all of you to Penacone Land of the Dreams. Oh, come on now, line up and give our honored guests a warm welcome. Uh, sure. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Ready? Go! Nah, uh, 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 no need for such formalities. We're a uh, family. Right. We're a family to them. Uh, we're we're a family. family. Yeah, we're family, guys. Wow, seems like you've established yourself as an important figure around here. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Can we have some privacy, please? Sure thing. You're the boss. Hey, gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? Gang, gang. Yes, yes boss. boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Yeah. Misha, are you acquainted with this gray friend of mine? Why do you keep calling me gray? I don't know, call me Batman or something. He's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about him before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's him. Anyway, thanks a lot. You hadn't gotten here in time. Whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. 
I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> About all the commotion just now? I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Thanks. Is this lady your friend too? I mean, if you want to call me that. We've only met each other once before. But he is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. Yes. yes. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. <laughs> Damn! Lady. <laughs> Damn, risen her up. By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? He taught me some clockwork. That's right! It was me! Clocky! Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dream Bill would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes. Uh, that cartoon character. How do we explain this? I think he's shown up in reality. I mean, in the dreamscape. Uh, what, what? I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here. But according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. None of y'all got childlike innocence? That's crazy. <sighs> it seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. But why me? Why am I so innocent? Misha can see him? He can't? Clucky really exists. I can explain a whole... A lot of things. I didn't see the line where he said he could see him. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream. Probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. Hmm. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Memo Keeper? Shortly after we parted ways, uh -oh. I met a, red a lady text. wearing a black veil who was also a guest at the hotel. We had a good time talking about the event over drinks. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that clocky you saw? Yeah. After all, it is a grand event held by the family. I guess this could be a lot longer than we imagined. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I mean, they did invite so many factions. I wish you a great factions. time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. Date? D -d 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 date? Sorry, my bad. No, we're not <laughs> on a date. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's not what this is. <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. All right. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted <gasps> by some invisible friend again. Misha. Her secret stronghold is a, a cafe. Here we are. This is the place. Place look mighty fine. No, uh, it isn't. This is. Oh. <laughs> so we've become a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What a beautiful manhole cover. Yes, it's right inside. You want me to crawl in there? Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. <sighs> oh, Sparkle! Hey, let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, oh, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? God damn it, Adventurine. <sighs> Spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. Honey. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover, not in a dream. 
There's one right over there. Off you go. Damn. Tell us that. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Although that might have been kind of racist. Is frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. I mean, that might have been kind of racist, but tell, tell that to Adventurine in particular, because he's kind of a dickhead. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Panacone? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. Mm. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Chicken wing boy? What? How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? What? <laughs> it's okay. Friends. Oh, please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Mm. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Mm. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? Damn! At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long! Uh. <laughs> Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. Okay, she might be a little bit racist, but like, <laughs> I will not lie, some of it might be deserved for this man. Not the racism part, but like, he deserves to get told off. What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Look, this place is breathtaking, isn't it? Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry, this place isn't dangerous. Just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Jesus, I'm so far behind. Hey, excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Drat, we're caught right away. Uh, could you just let us through this time? Could you uh, please make an exception? We're not going to cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. Uh, we know Galar. Who? Yeah. Never heard of him. Shit. I wouldn't let you in even if the Dream Master were here. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Um, let me think of another way. My bad. Clocky's clocky power trick can come in handy. True. Uh, this doesn't count as malicious intent, right? Uh, are you happy, bro? Be happy. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my! Uh, oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Uh, oh my! Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Buddy, you look uh, you look as delighted as me. Oh, can you feel it? This this is wild. It feels like I just downed ten bottles of Apocalypse Soul Glad in one gulp and spent an entire day at the Dreamscape sales store. Uh oh. Oh, if Mia were here, we would sing a song together. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she would understand how I feel. I can hardly contain this palpable excitement. Oh, I'd like to invite you to dance with me, handsome. Oh. Right here, right now. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll... Uh, will you let us in after I dance with you? Oh, no way. Rules are rules. <sighs> wow. It's totally fine if you want to turn me down. No dance for you then. This 
crazy mood and this pounding heart are just what I need. I, I wish, I wish it would last forever. Still, I won't let you guys in because it's my duty to stop you. Okay. He really is a man of principle. Yeah. And yeah, what about sad then? Be sad. Ah, honored guests. Welcome to Penacony. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. My job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. Even a trash can is more important than me. Damn, I made him depressed. Uh-oh. I like trash cans. They're, uh, the trash cans are important. I like them. Oh, in that case, I'd recommend that you see Dr. Edward for a psychotherapy session. Damn. Uh, what? Anyway, please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead of... Talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. Damn. Will you let us through? Oh. Oh. Oh, no way. Whoa. This, there's little dignity left in me. Please be nice and don't trample on it. Wow, this really is like at the top of his mind. This man is constantly thinking about not letting anyone in. This is the most important thing in his life. I, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but I swear I'll stop you or die trying. After all, I have nothing left to lose. It really is the most important thing in his mind. I feel really bad. <laughs> but angry. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Ugh! Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're going to regret it. Bye bye, bro. Sorry. I, that's not what I mean, though. Don't try talking back to me. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic. You idle away your time every day, going around, st stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. Damn, where is this coming from? Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, Sweet Dreams Troop. Teach them a lesson. Nah. Projecting much? For real. Bro, let it all out on us. Oh, darn it. I can't believe I've lost. Uh, is this... Is this the power of youth? No, this is just a skill issue. If I'd had that power back then... Would we have ended up differently, Mia? Damn. So, wait, so he was projecting on us. All right. But you can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. <laughs> the path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the dreamer's tools. Okay. What happens next is going to blow your mind. Okay. Oh, yes. Different points in space are linked together. That's kind of cool. Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? Fischl's castle time? Yeah, I remember that. I wonder if that's what they were testing that for. Yet again, Genshin is testing grounds for bettering Star Rail. They're not going to like that one. We can get to the rooftop of the opposite building from here, but it requires a device. I remember it's hidden here. In this one? Puzzles, huh? I am not good at puzzles. God, this is so cool. I love doing this. Look, that's the Penacone Grand Theater over there. Ooh. It radiates dazzling light perpetually. Just like this glamorous dream. Ooh. I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. My countless fireflies chasing the fire. Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. You know, okay, is this weird to say, but it kind of does feel like they're sending this up as a date. Am I wrong? It feels tropey. You didn't like it, but she's cute. Yeah. The family recruited many artists, architects, and scholars from across the universe to form the team of dreamers that built the dream of Penacony. These areas are not developed yet, so guests don't come here. 
It's not as lively as the town center here, but I relish the serene atmosphere. Like, it doesn't feel like, like, it doesn't feel like it actually is one, but it, it kind of gets off those vibes. But I guess you could just take it however you want, so. It's not like they're gonna put any labels on it anyways. I don't think Hoyverse would ever actually dare to put, <laughs> to give the uh, a main character a love interest. Kiana May is different, but for every other Hoyverse game, I'm not sure. If they did, buildings would burn, yeah. Basically why they would not do that. <sighs> What exactly went wrong? Is it because I've gone for too long without drinking so glad? Or because I've been working overtime for two months? And so Why don't I have any inspiration today? And so glad really is like a drug. <laughs> Give yourself a break, dude. Uh, who's there? Why are there guests here? Y you know what? I don't care how you snuck in. Just leave me alone. If you prevent me from finishing my work on time, I'm gonna make you pay for it. Alright, my bad, bro. Here's your happy gear. Ah, I got it! What a brilliant idea it is! I must write it down on paper while it's fresh in my mind! <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sure I'll forget all the details when I wake up from sleep. Uh, there's no better time than now to put it to action. Hmm. He wandered off, but he left behind the puzzle piece. Thanks. Hey, big ass dinosaur over there. Um, this area wasn't guarded the last time I was here. Uh, half my frequent comings and goings started drawing attention. These big dinosaurs. I don't think we can get around them. It's like a pizza Knocking dinosaur. Them out is the only way to go. At long last, this baseball bat of mine has found its purpose. Let's get rid of them. These enemies are more tanky than in the other worlds. Yeah, they. It kind of are. <laughs> Memory of chaos gonna suck. I forgot about that. Here we are. This is the place. Oh, the music. Someone's singing. Where is the sound coming from? And where is that coming from? We really are about to go through the go through the date trope, aren't we? Have oh you boy. Heard of this song? It's called "If I Can Stop One Heart from Breaking" by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. Oh boy. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people and the dreams. Without being disturbed by anyone how beautiful <laughs> wow time is frozen at this golden hour this golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the garden of recollection the wandering ranger and the ipc ambassador the astral express nameless and me Everyone falls asleep here equally, regardless of our different agendas. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. I knew it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I knew I couldn't hide it from you. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. It was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Penaconi locals, the Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. Family takes them in, but they don't. Long here. Mm. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penaconi, but some have dreams that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world but i can't so i want to give it a shot here 
That was a beautiful shot back there, by the way. Also, they cook with this song. They cook with this song, I will say. What's your wish, though? Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? No. It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away. Oh, damn. And the process is barely noticeable to others. Oh, damn. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. So how can I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. Mm. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. That's understandable. Just like this moment. I mean, that's real. That's, pro that's probably like a real experience people would go through. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am. In fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. Mm. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least... I really hope things don't turn out that way. Mm. Two of these options are very mean, but... <laughs> I'm gonna put my trust in her. Screw it. I'm gonna put my trust. She doesn't seem like a bad person. I'll put my guard down, alright? I'll put, I'll put it down. I'll put it down. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth. Beautiful. And a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun, and it whispered to me. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see... Everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water. And the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. True. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Oh my god, there's actually so many options. Pom Pom would cool us down with water from a spray can. <laughs> what? Don Hong would tell us dry jokes with a deadpan expression. <laughs> Classic. Himiko would make coffee for us. Mr. Yang would try to change the subject, and Marge would force us to take a selfie with her. True. What about the selfie? Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times, why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. Oh, sh selfie with Firefly. Sure. <laughs> I can say I don't think so. <laughs> I'm so surprised they give you that option. <laughs> I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, 
You hold the camera. That's so funny they give you that option. The girl hands you the phone, her eyes fill with expectation. You take the phone, launch the camera app, and switch to the front-facing camera effortlessly. Then extending your arm, you hold the phone at a distance, ensuring both of you are captured in the frame. Wait, let me get ready. I'm good. Let's do this. One, two, say cheese. Cheese. Aww. That's heat. That's heat. That's a fire picture right there. Are we all having fun? Lots of fun, sure. But something feels off. Doesn't feel very real. It's odd. I can't describe it. Yeah, well, we are in a dream. I saw a guy wearing a plaster head sculpture at the auction, and he walked off without doing anything. That's pretty suspicious. I also had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated. It's best if we meet up face to face. Me too. Looks like... A trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on. Let's say goodbye, golden hour. Nice. If I could stop one heart from breaking. By her song, honestly. That was heat. That was a very sweet moment there. Yes, it's a little tropey. I know people are gonna be like, man, this feels like such a trope. I don't like this. But for some reason, I don't know. I feel like it was a little bit needed. And they did say it was going to be a very lighthearted Trailblaze mission. So I feel like it, it was inevitable for something like this to happen, maybe. 